Hello everybody and welcome to the Raptor Walk Cycle with me, your instructor, Jonathan Simmons. Um, okay, so if some of you, or I think some of you might have already done the Raptor Run Cycle tutorial, um, which shows the Raptor running and it's a quick 19 frame cycle and it basically, uh, we go through in really, really high detail how to do the rig, starting with the cache system explaining all the all the different bits and pieces and uh, getting through and finishing with the tail so be sure to check that one out as well uh, this one is going to be a little slower so we're going to be spending more time on actually contact poses and um, uh, what happens to the feet when when the toes come off the ground that sort of thing and basically the shifting of the weight is going to be much more important as it was on the run cycle because on the run cycle the shifting of weight is quite small because it's keeping itself um, uh, kind of suspended as the legs are pumping away underneath there so we're going to be looking first of all at the rig and we're going to then uh, focus from the we'll start with the hips and then we're going to go down and do some feet uh, sliding backwards and forwards and then we'll move the weight onto the hip and then we're going to take this controller and we're going to use and reuse those curves in the graph editor and we're going to paste them along to the chest and some to the head so that we don't have to repeat ourselves when we work so um, as I when I first started teaching animation we we learned about the bouncy ball and the bouncy ball creates this uh, this sort of curve here and uh, it's so important to understand that part of the curve because it applies to to pretty much uh, everything that you're working on in animation so it's a very handy um, curve to have that we can reuse again and again and again so yeah that's what's going to happen and we are going to get started in lesson one with learning about the rig and then we're going to start blocking out our initial steps and then once we've done that we will move on to um, to uh, doing the overlap of the chest understanding what happens with the arms uh, when there is an offset on the chest then we will go on to the head and we'll move in that direction so we're going to start we'll start here then we'll work on the chest and then on the head uh, after we've done the feet and then we'll leave the tail. Um, we'll leave the tail for last because the tail, everything that happens on the tail is determined about what happens through the hip and the center of gravity on the body. And we'll focus on the tail and the arms last. Okay, so it's a really nice rig. It's quite heavy uh, in some cases. So I hope your machines are fast enough. But you'll notice that in your scene when you're loading it up there is if you go into the reference editor so go to the file and reference editor you will see that there are a couple of things that are referenced there's a turntable that we will I'll explain at the end of the course and then there is the light rig that is in the scene so you can turn the lights on and off and work um, with some some lighting and we also have the Raptor cache so the final animation has been cached out already so if we turn off the Raptor rig geo and actually if you remove that rig you'd have the Raptor in the scene uh, as a reference point for you and this I just thought was really really helpful for any animators that are uh, studying and trying to understand the dynamics and the physics of what's going on with a rig and if your computer is really slow then um, this might uh, this might speed up um, speed up your workflow hopefully so make sure that when you want to have this in your scene that you go to show and turn the GPU cache on and then make sure that when you want to reference it in again to your scene you'll need to select the object that's inside there so it'll select the node and go to the attribute and then just repath the GPU cache to the new path refresh and it should load if it doesn't load then delete the node and then go to cache GPU cache and import into your scene again uh, sometimes Maya has a bit of a bug in that uh, department as most departments so um, 
if it's not showing, then that's those are the two ways to bring it in. Okay, and that being said, I hope that you enjoy this lesson. It's going to be uh, pretty straightforward. And as I did mention before, if you do have any questions, um, please do let me know and I'll be sure to uh, help you out as soon as I get a moment. So for that being said, let's, uh, let's move on to lesson one and start to explore the rig and then block out the basic um, poses of the feet. See you then.